the trouble with diet tracking apps like MyFitnessPal. Now, tracking apps like MyFitnessPal are actually great. I'm not going to slag them off too much because they get people to be really mindful about what they're eating. It can help improve education around how many, oh, sorry, what foods contain what amount of calories, what levels of protein, that kind of stuff. Sometimes people think they're eating way too much protein, but actually they're eating 30, 40 grams a day, something like that. Very, very substandard. So it is really good on that level. However, apps like MyFitnessPal and you ask it to help you lose weight will put you in a permanent deficit, okay? And that's not what we want. We don't want this permanent deficit because you will start to plateau, okay? So we need diet breaks along the way and that has to be staged in and programmed in intelligently. And when we need to take those diet breaks is really, really nuanced and down to the individual depending on the metrics that are coming back from the client fatigue, how's their sleep, how's their body temperature, how much weight have they lost over the last course of six weeks, all these things we have to take into consideration to find out how long we're going to do a diet break for and what level we're going to set the calories at before going back down into another fat loss stage. Now if you are struggling to lose some weight and you want to lose some fat and shape up, please hit me up with the word coaching in my DMs. I run a full range of online coaching services and have coached hundreds of people um, and I've been coaching people for 23, 24 years now. So please hit me up with the word coaching if you're interested and I will get straight back to you.